Hello Astro people, thanks for watching. I am doing this on Thursday the 24th of October 2019. We've got some way to go before Mercury retrograde. It doesn't actually turn retrograde until next Thursday the 31st. Good week there. But on Sunday the 27th we actually go into the pre-shadow phase intensified. This is all about Mercury slowing down uh, before it actually hits the retrograde point on the 31st. Um, now this Mercury retrograde has got Scorpio written all over it. Uh, the pre-shadow actually started, uh, let me see, on the 11th of October with the moon in Scorpio. Uh, the actual retrograde station, which is the day that Mercury actually stands still and then starts going backwards, that's uh, going to be in Scorpio as well, 27 degrees Scorpio. Uh, let me see, the direct station, which is on, uh, let me see, Wednesday the 20th of November 2019. That's also in Scorpio and it is, what is it, uh, 16 degrees Scorpio that day. So it's very, very Scorpio kind of Mercury retrograde, this one. And uh, I suspect that a great deal of the lessons around it, just, you know, not just from reading this, but from what I've seen going on around me and things people have said and done, um, it, it's going to be about people thinking, well, a thing means one thing or the other and there's no middle ground. Now that is always a big mistake as we know but it's human nature really isn't it to decide that you because we, we need to decide we need to know kind of where we stand and if it's not clear it's much much easier to kind of decide well it must be this it must be that uh, than it is to actually investigate that middle ground but have a look at it guys if someone's really getting on your nerves or if something dreadful seems to be about to happen have a think about it because you know the world just simply isn't everything in black and white um, it, it really isn't uh, so we're going into that mercury retrograde and um, it's going to be tricky right because they just always are uh, communication tends to become difficult and that's where things are centered around uh, so try and kind when you're in communication some people are going to be trying to tell you well you know this is definitely or this person's definitely done something or whatever um, just make your own mind up okay even if it the person saying that is someone you would normally kind of respect and trust and all that kind of thing have a think about you know what your actual personal opinion of the thing is um, just quickly nothing much has changed in the stars to date we have got the Virgo moon that came in at uh, 29 minutes past 8 UK time uh, yesterday so that would have been 29 minutes past midday uh, on the Pacific coast of the States and Canada east side it would actually be uh, let me see three hours after that <laughs> I can't work these things out on the fly I really can't tomorrow the moon is going to enter Libra at uh, 21 19 UK eight hours before that Pacific uh, five hours before that Eastern that's the way that one goes then we will see some balancing influence come in which is rather good uh, it's also a more sociable time then people are a little bit in their shells at the moment but that's the way it is with the Virgo moon uh, the actual alignments of things today with the moon at 20.4% full, still on her way down, waning down to a new moon next Sunday in the States and Canada next Monday here. Um, with that, the sun is opposite Uranus today. Uh, can be upsetting, radical things can suddenly happen. Uh, meetings and confrontation, you know. Now that can be positive. Sometimes you've got to go through the confrontation to actually know the facts, to know the shot, to know what's actually going on. Uh, but on the other hand, confrontation is confrontational. Not a great thing just in itself. You get people resigning from things. You get workers going on strike. Um, the moon is trying. Saturn brings kind of careful thoughts. People are quite shrewd in business. So that's, you know, it's rather more positive than the sun opposite Uranus. Mercury's still void in Scorpio. There's no point in me going over that again, um, you know. Just basically high winds can either blow through the world or maybe even as well as blow through our minds and uh, its winds of change all over the place. But winter is coming, you know, get those leaves cleared up, the autumn leaves. Uh, there's a wonderful song about uh, autumn leaves. I can't remember, was it Carol King, I think, sings autumn leaves? A lovely song and a lot of truth in it. Anyway, I'm going to move on quickly and mention spaceweather.com. If this interests you, if this floats your boat, do have a look at spaceweather.com. Dot com spelled exactly like it sounds space weather all one word dot com i'm just looking at this because the solar wind speed is actually it's a little bit low it's three three hundred and fifty nine kilometers a second 
which is pretty slow for the solar wind, but it is very dense at 22.3 protons a cubic centimetre. Uh, there is a massive hole uh, in the sun's, what you might call the sun's aura, uh, the sort of the biosphere of the sun, if you will. Um, and this is likely to uh, cause some geomagnetic storms today. It's been spewing out radiation and sort of electromagnetic forces of whatever kind they are uh, for the last couple of days and it's about time they're due to reach us so we're looking at almost certainly a g1 class geomagnetic storm blowing through not just the UCA, the whole world it's just you know it's a fact of life and uh, that is on today but there are no sunspots we seem to be pretty much at solar minimum at the moment there are no sunspots whatsoever now yesterday I was drawn to pick up my Bible and have a read of that. So let's just balance things today. Let us have a quote from the Bhagavad Gita. As it is, I'm leaving it completely to happenstance. And what have we got here? Um, and this is a translation by uh, uh, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Um, God rest his soul. And uh, I'm drawn to read two, actually. Uh, these are two translations. This is the first one. It's called Text 23 for... If ever I failed to engage in carefully performing my prescribed duties, O Partha, certainly all men would follow my path. And the next one is, if I did not perform my prescribed duties, all these worlds would be put to ruination. All these worlds, not the words, all these worlds would be put to ruination. I would be the cause of creating unwanted population and I would thereby destroy the peace of all living beings. So that is really saying, you know, let's be careful what we bring into the world um, at this time, friends. Uh, anything we're trying to manifest, anything we're trying to do. A lot like the Bible said yesterday, you know, it, it, it's either the right thing or it isn't. So ask yourself and be careful around that. I must have been drawn to that for a reason. And, um, yeah, I mean, lots of people will follow your path if you're not quite doing things properly. It's just very easy in this world. It's much easier to follow someone who says, ah, it doesn't matter, than it is to follow someone who insists on getting it right. Um... I've seen an example of that just in the last couple of days and actually it's been an ongoing thing for about 10 years now. It's just someone in my group of friends who is very, very strict and uh, she gets on quite a lot of people's nerves because of that. But generally speaking, she's right and there's a good atmosphere around her, you know. She, you can always trust her, you always feel good. So what she tells you tends to work out, tends to be for the best. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. Uh, keep it real, keep your tongue out, as we sometimes say in Hugo, we used to in the 1980s anyway. And I'll be back very soon. Peace.